Are you going to the photography show in Birmingham? Let me know. 16th to 19th of March 2019 at the NEC in Birmingham in the UK. We've got our photography show and now it's also sided by the video show for want of a better phrase. What I wanna know is, will you be there? Also, what should I look out for at this photography show? I've gone pretty much every year since, I don't know, Focus and whatever else it's been called over the years. And yeah, let me know what you think. Should I bother taking a camera along or should I just go to Geek? Say hi if you see me there, it's always cool to meet you guys. Of course, I'm gonna be finishing my T3 review finally. I didn't wanna do a fresh out of the box review. I wanted to actually use this thing, but a lot of you have been asking for that review and I think it's uh, six months now or more, so I can do a six month review or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's basically ready. So I just need to piece that together and get it out. So bear with me. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know I've been traveling around Colombia with this little friend, my DJI Osmo Pocket. So we're gonna put together a little review. If it's worth bothering spending a few hundred pounds on this little beauty. Of course, we'll be taking a look at some of the latest stuff from Fujifilm, hopefully getting our hands on some of the Canon gear as well. There's been a lot coming out since I've been away and kind of chilling out. But we've got some other little cool things to show you too. How do you feel about third party lenses for your Fujifilm gear, for your other brands? I know a bunch of you out there are very happy with stuff from Sam Yang, even Makey. But what about this MCO Plus? We're gonna be checking out the 32 mm F 1.6 and also the 35 mm F 1.2. Are these budget numbers worth even the relatively small value that you can get them for, should you get them. So these are gonna be on the channel very, very soon. We've also got a monitor that's actually very handy if you use a gimbal, but you can just use it on top of your camera. So if you're using a T3, for example, but you really wanted a flip out screen, this might be a great option. It's a little bit slimmer than the one we looked at before from Viltrux, which I'm perfectly happy with. As you know, on the channel, I'm a fan of bags. So we've got two, very interesting bag from Innertech, one which is a decent looking number for your gear, which I may well be bringing into service very soon. And this one, which is supposedly anti-theft, which actually, now that my previous bag has started to play up, the one that I used on my last trip, I had to get the zip fixed a couple times. This one may well be coming into service for my travels, but I'm gonna give it a good check out and show you in some random fashion on the channel too. What do you reckon? Couple of bags, nothing wrong with a bag or two is there. Let's hope we can get our hands on the T30, the GFX, what's it called now? 50R, 50S, no I did the 50S, you know anyway. <laughs> I do wanna really have a proper play with that new Canon camera, I've had a play, but I wanna show it to you guys. Let us know if you're coming to the photography show. Leave a comment below. I better just get on with the other reviews. See you later.